You remember how last episode we were talking about how you can highlight and yank stuff that's like in and around parentheses, quotation marks, all that mess? More on that is to make you even more flexible. More flexible than your yoga teacher. Assuming you have the budget to go to yoga. Or if you're into that. Get over! Okay, let's get to work. So we are here once again in the same old boring file. Man, you must be getting tired of this. Uh, and say, for instance, we're over here inside of this parentheses here. Um, what do you do if you want to delete everything inside of it? Well, you could hit, I don't know, maybe find parentheses to go to the close parentheses, hit insert to go to insert mode, and then hit backspace and hit backspace and backspace, back, 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 all that mess. And that took a lot of time, didn't it? And we're not getting any younger. And also what they say with Vim is that if you're taking more than four keystrokes to do something, more than likely you're doing it wrong. And in this case, you'd be doing it wrong. But luckily, there is a better way for us to do this. Uh, let's undo these changes, and I'll show you how. So say once again, we're back here inside of the parentheses, and Fu and Bar are talking badly about our friends and family, and we want them gone desperately. What we can do instead is hit delete in parentheses, and what do you know? It deleted everything in the parentheses. Who would have thought? And uh, you can just see how useful this would be, right? So say, for instance, you're changing function definitions around or you want to just like mess around with the parameters and, um, you know, it, it'll save you a lot of time regardless. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm not going to barge into your personal life here. Uh, remember how in the last episode, too, we talked about how uh, you can view in parentheses or quotes or whatever. Uh, you could also view around them. Look at this. All right, let's try delete around parentheses. You notice those parentheses, they're gone too. So you can save yourself some extra time there if you just want to wipe all that out too as well. Uh, this works on quotes. This works on block, uh, block square brackets, not block shit. Um, it works on words. All the stuff that I mentioned from the previous episode works here. All right, let's go a little bit further before I let you go. We want, for instance, to, yes, delete everything inside these parentheses, but we want to then add something else. We could hit delete in shift parentheses, and then that'll delete it, and then we hit I to go in insert mode. We can shave one of those steps off, and uh, I'm going to show you right now. We can hit change in parentheses. Now look down at the bottom of your screen. It's okay, I'll wait. What does it say? It says insert because change in parentheses immediately drops us into insert mode after doing that. And now we are free to start typing whatever we please. Pretty nice, huh? Um, this also works again, change around parentheses and we're in insert mode and the parentheses are just wiped out. Um, you're gonna use this a lot too because um, I use it a lot, believe me. Uh, especially changing around words, uh, changing in words, all that stuff. You'll get used to it as you pick it up and you practice this. You are practicing this, right? Uh, I'm going to let you go. Bye.